Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I'm sitting at the art desk this morning and I've been doing major cleaning out out here in Paper Town. I'm still not sure how the workshop is going to evolve, but it's time for a change. And I love gardening, so I am going to be creating a space out here where I also have some of my gardening things. And often that theme of gardening and flowers overlaps with our journals, at least mine, and I know, I know a lot of you like flowers and uh, wild flowers, you know, pressing flowers, and we love the butterflies and the birds. So to me, it kind of, it's a good place for this to join together. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Wait, let's go back to this page. Jay sent me some happy mail, and one of the things in here, let me grab the package, was this tri-blend by Spectrum Noir and I don't know that I've seen these on the shelf. Maybe I have, uh, but I decided to open this and use it this morning, and these are really cool. I had no idea I would like it so much. Um, it's one reason why it's good to try new things. So it's got three different colors of orange. This one is the orange blend. So you have orange one, orange two, orange three, and it goes from light to medium to dark. And you can see the difference. Like I did the hair and just outlining with the uh, dark. Make sure I'm on the right end, yeah. And then mid, you know, I did her cheeks. And then the light, it's just really neat. I love this. Maybe I did, let's see. Let's look at the colors. So here is dark. And here's the mid-range. And then light. Um, mid and light are pretty close, but there is a difference. Anyway, Jay, I love this, and I love the other things. There were some beautiful postcards, uh, napkins, uh, a magazine, one of the uh, stamping tons, and I actually have that one, so I'm going to make sure that that one gets um, used by the artists who come into the scrap exchange. So it's all going to good use, and thank you so much. I wanted to show you quickly how I use my junk journals. I make a journal for myself every month or so, and I put a lot in mine, so they usually last a little longer than a month. And I incorporate tags um, off of clothing if I like them. Things that I find, uh, like some keys that were just on the floor, and here's a large kilt pen. A lot of times I tie mine so that the charms are on the outside. I didn't this time, although before it's over, I will probably pin a safety pin out here to hang more things that I found. I just like keeping track every day of thoughts. I put in receipts, um, appointments. I also have a large desk calendar at work, which helps me keep up with things, and I have a large desk calendar inside at my computer. But my junk journal is what I carry around, and I may, you know, do simple artwork. I found this uh, postcard at work and bought it and just used it for inspiration. So that's just my little version. And I like to be able to tape things in to cover up private entries, like so I can show the journals on my channel and not have to worry about entries that I don't want anybody to see, like with without having to shuffle papers around. So it makes a nice tuck spot or pocket. And I always make sure that I keep track of who did the original. This is uh, Chelsea Granger and ChelseaGranger.com is the site. I did look her up, so it's good to give credit where credit is due. No one likes having someone claim their work. Uh, there's a piece of lace here, and then just an old piece of a magazine page. Uh, probably one of the, uh, what is it? It's not, it's either Courier and Ives or... Godie's Ladies Fashion from the 1800s, and I do have a lot of old pages. I'm trying to put together some packs and stacks to sell. I have fun packs that will be available in the next two or three days. What's today? Friday? 
Saturday, Sunday, probably the next three to four days. They are almost ready. So, and I'm probably going to do those straight through PayPal. If you want one of those, you can let me know. I'm going to be showing it on the channel. Um, honestly, I'm about completely done with Etsy. I've tried to get back on Etsy and fill my shop up. And now they've started this thing where they can suddenly, for some arbitrary reason, put you in reserve, which means you don't get your money at all uh, until you ship your items. And that's, I'm just fed up. I'm completely fed up with their tactics. And so, I mean, you can sell, they, they will give you a percentage. Like we're going to hold this much of your money. And even after you've shipped everything, you may not get it right away. It may take them one or two days. And they had already, in my opinion, shot themselves in the foot when they decided to just do deposits on Mondays, unless you had a certain amount. Um, the deposits go in in the evenings. It seems like it's always late. So they're really, they're making money off of the seller's money. Uh, and to a point, that's what should happen. But when you're just holding my money so that you can make interest off of it or whatever, I, I really think I'm going to end up just emptying out that shop and selling only through PayPal. But yeah, I digress. Makes me really mad. So, um... I've got like a little schedule under there and I do like writing, doodling. I glue things in that I like. I do write entries. My son, John, was 29 uh, at the end of last month and we all met for lunch. Uh, this I probably should color. I'm not the black sheep. I'm the tie-dyed one. I have had this one for forever and I finally just glued it in. Maybe I'll get to that at some point. This was a beautiful old book page that was just ripped down the middle, so I glued it in here. Um, it's very old, early 1900s, but at some point, you just have to go ahead and use things. So this is a beautiful card that Lori sent to me. She came to the retreat uh, that we had here. Was that in April? I'm telling you, I don't know where the months go. But Lori, I love this card that you sent. Um, this is some beautiful scrapbook paper from Stampington Papers. This is Lynn Perella. She's a, an artist that is published in there a lot. This is just a beautiful image. Um, Evelyn Nesbitt, she was considered to be one of the most beautiful women of her time. She was a Gibson girl. Um, she was in a very tragic relationship. I think two men basically were fighting over her for some time, and it ended up, I think one shot the other one. But I like to just you know, put things in that I like and sometimes make notes about what they are. I picture if I live long enough having these journals on a shelf so that I can pull them down when I'm older and just flip through and remember places um, where Jason and I visited, you know, look back at these to-do lists. and But that's pretty much um, how the journal goes. Here I've put in a card that Jennifer sent to me. I love this. She made it, and there's a note inside that she had written when she sent some happy mail. This morning, I was testing a dip pen. Here's an old book page. Uh, let's see, this beautiful thing, and I know there was a paper clip somewhere. I've put some things in that Mary sent to me, um, tidbits from the attic, and let's see how far. So, and this Mary made this. I just glued that whole thing in. It's so beautiful. This is not anyone in my family, but I saw this old photograph and some ephemera and purchased it. It just looks so sweet. They look like they love each other so much, but that looks like it was probably from the 70s, 50 years ago. Yeah, it's just poignant to see things like that, at least for me. I've gone through and glued in maybe a few more things just random things that were laying around the workshop. Some little stickers that I found. They're, that's from an old scrapbook from someone had fussy cut. Oh yeah, this is not the scrapbook. This was the book that had the little items that were, had been fussy cut, I think by a child. Um, and that's not cut very neatly. I just went ahead and glued it in here. There's a pocket for later down the road. I found some old photographs of me in my little art corner when I lived in the old house. So I just stuck those in there. But anyway, I feel like journals are meant to be used. Um, they can also be art. I have some that I make with a theme, and I just like to sit those up somewhere. This one will be pretty on the shelf, especially with some charms on the outside. 
But that's the way I use my journal. I carry this with me all the time and just jot things down. I'll end up finding little notes that I've scribbled somewhere and I will glue those in. But I hope everyone is doing great. I will be back soon. I promise. I've just, I want this workshop changed. I'm ready for a change. It's, it's very full. I love it. I love Paper Town, but it, it's time to make a big change. And I've been rolling towards this for the last year. You all have heard me talk about it. I have cleaned out somewhat, and then I don't completely clean out, but I think this time we're doing a massive clean out. And sometimes we just change. We Our styles change. We want new things and uh, maybe to just embrace the things we love the best. But anyway, that's where I am. I'm not going to ramble anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Thanks. Bye.